How tight should a winter pool cover be? Well, there's really only two styles that you would be talking about, and that would be a tarp or a safety cover. So let's talk about both of those. So with a tarp cover for a swimming pool in the winter, a lot of people will make the mistake of trying to span across the pool. If you were to do that, I can, you could probably set it up like that, but as soon as it rains and the weight of the rain starts to sit on top of the cover, it's definitely going to sink down into the pool. And then so some pool owners anticipating that that would happen, perhaps leave a little bit of slack or something like that. I think that's probably the most common approach that people would take is they're going to leave some extra slack in the cover so that the rainwater will be able to pool in the center and reach down and perhaps touch the surface of the pool water. And then maybe they'll leave some extra tarp on the deck such that, you know, if the tarp gets dragged a little bit, it should still be okay. This is also a mistake. The ideal method is to accept and understand that once it rains or once it snows, the weight of that water on top of the cover is going to make the cover sit across the entire surface of the water. And what I mean to say is there will be no span of the cover happening across the water. The cover will be on the deck, go straight down the wall of the pool until it touches the water level and then straight across the water level to the other side. And so when you install a winter tarp cover properly, that's just what you do to begin with, is when you put the cover on the pool, you get down right onto your stomach and you reach down and you push the tarp down until it sits tight on the water level the whole way and then tight straight up the wall and then onto the deck where you would put the water bags. And you don't want to, you know, put the cover or the water bags, you know, three feet away from the edge of the pool and allow for some drag. There's not going to be any drag because there's nowhere for the tarp to go. It's already sitting completely on the surface of the pool. And so you would want the water bags to be within a foot or 18 inches of the edge of the pool because there will be no drag. Like certainly you don't want a tarp to drag across the, the concrete deck around your swimming pool. For sure that's going to ruin your winter cover. Um, so with the method that I've described you'll find that there is no movement and there's no need to do things like you know uh, you see like bungee cords or people tying ropes to trees and things like that. You don't need to do any of that. There is no tension, zero tension on the tarp which is what you need to do. It's whisper thin. They're designed very cheaply these days. And if you were to try to, you know, use the eyelets and you'll tie it out to, you know, the, the railing around your pool, it's never going to work. The eyelets are going to rip out every year. And th this is how you avoid it is you sit the cover on the surface of the pool completely anticipating that the rain load will cause that eventually anyway. And then you don't have to worry about the tarp dragging. And that's the best, best method for sure for how tight a tarp cover should be. So let's talk about the other covers, safety covers. Whether you have a mesh safety cover or a solid safety cover, the method that I would describe would be the same for both. The first thing that you want is you want no sag in the cover. These covers are designed to be under spring tension and tight across the surface of the pool. Now, there are a couple of different varieties and manufacturing styles for these covers relating to how many grids or how many straps that comprises the cover. The larger the grid section or the larger the spacing between your straps, the more sag the cover is inherently going to have. However, a well-designed and installed pool cover should have little to no sag once you have it under spring tension around the, the pool. And if yours isn't, if yours is sagging in, well, that's something that can happen once it's experienced some snow load or definitely after the first time a cover takes load, it's uh, I find that it stretches out and sags a little more, usually needs to be tightened up a little bit. So that'd be pretty common, I would say, for, you know, once a year, once every few years to have to tighten up a few of the buckles around your swimming pool because it's starting to sag a little bit in the middle. And again, that's not ideal with a safety cover. Now, it's important to understand that you can't just tighten it to the maximum degree. If you look at the springs around your safety cover, what you're aiming for is no more than 50% load on that spring. And that is to say, when the springs are not loaded, that would be 0%. Stretched to 50% or open 50% would be half capacity. And that's about the maximum 
that I want to see because you still need to allow for load from you know an animal or person that ends up on the cover or snow load if you live in an area that has snow. So you don't want to, ha to have the spring under maximum tension already because then there's no more deflection for it to absorb those forces and the spring and the hardware is just going to break and maybe break the grommet or cause it to bind or could cause the straps from, for your safety cover to start to fray or wear prematurely. And so you're going for taut across the surface of your pool such that there's no sag, but you shouldn't be using more than about 50% load on the springs for your cover. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.